Bodhgaya is the place where the historical Buddha Shakyamuni reached enlightenment 2,500 years ago. So it is for this reason that Bodhgaya is the most important place for Buddhist pilgrims. Early in the morning, practitioners begin to practice their individual meditations around the Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya. It is foggy these days in December. When doing prostrations, the practitioner trains to focus their body, speech, and mind towards the three jewels, the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Besides the individual Buddhist visitors, there are often large gatherings of practitioners from various different Buddhist traditions. Thousands of monks, nuns, and lay people from all over the world gather to do prayers under the famous Bodhi tree next to the Mahabodhi temple in Bodhgaya. In 1996, the first Kajiman Lam took place in Bodhgaya. Since 2007, this event was organized every year under the spiritual guidance of the heads of the Karmakaju School of Tibetan Buddhism, His Holiness the 17th Kawakarmapa Trinitai Dorje, and the second most important Lama in the Karmakaju tradition, the Kunzik Shamarumachi, also known as the Red Hat Karmapa. They, there was a great disciple of Buddha whose name is Samantha Bhadra. And he made a lot, a lot, a lot of the noble wishes for sentient beings. So Buddha recommended all the followers to follow his wish. All the followers, if you don't know how to make good wishes, you follow my disciple Samantha Bhadra's wishes. So there's beautiful slogans for sentient beings. Yeah? So here we practice that. The first day of the Munlam this year, His Holiness Gyalwa Karmapa was welcomed at the main gate of the Mahabodhi Temple. After the reception at the gate, His Holiness went inside the temple to pay his respects to the historical Buddha statue dating back to the 10th century. His Holiness the 17th Gyalakarma Patrini Tayadorji lit the sacrificial lamp on the shrine which was set up under the Bodhi tree. Then he took his seat on the throne to lead the assembled practitioners in the recitation of aspiration prayers for world peace and the enlightenment of all beings. Shortly afterward, His Holiness Gyalakarmapa was joined by Kunzik Shamarambachi. The prayers were recited for seven days, beginning in the morning at 7 a.m. Then, after a brief lunch break, continued until about 5 p.m. every day. The purpose is to really to cultivate our um, goodness, one could say, or in Sanskrit, bodhicitta, for the betterment of all. Yes, so we dedic uh, so we utilize our uh, aspiring uh, quality you know, to uh, to generate uh, immense amount of compassion, immense amount of wisdom, so that we may be able to end all sorts of confusions, all sorts of uh, disturbances, <coughs> basically clashes. Yes.
the mental disturbances more than the physical disturbances. A mandala offering was performed every day, symbolizing a universe filled with precious offerings. The main prayer recited during this event is Samantabhadra's noble king of prayers of excellent conduct. The benefits of reciting this particular prayer are said to be unimaginable. The prayer itself explains that whoever recites it will be perfectly comfortable and lead happy lives. In this lifetime as well, comfort and happiness will reign. The positive effects of the prayer are further amplified by the sacredness of the venue, the holy place of Bodhgaya, where the historical Buddha Shakyamuni attained enlightenment and the presence of great realized bodhisattvas such as His Holiness Gyawa Karmapa and Kunzik Shamarimaji. Among the 11,000 participants, about 4,500 monks and nuns from 50 different monasteries attended the Manlo. Around 6,500 lay people from many European countries, Russia, the United States, Southeast Asia, China, Taiwan, Sri Lanka, India, Nepal, Bhutan and Tibet attended the week-long prayer gathering. 7,000 liters of water and 900 liters of milk were used per day to provide the guests with tea and refreshments while participating in the daily prayers. Special cooks were arranged to prepare the 1,700 pieces of Tibetan bread that had to be baked every night for the next day's distribution. <laughs> On the last day, as a festive conclusion of the Munlam, a Gana Chakra ritual was held by the assembly under the Bodhi tree. This practice is specifically related to Vajrayana Buddhism as it is transmitted in Tibet and the Himalayan region. It generally involves exhaustive offerings to the Lama, Yidam, Dakas and Dakinis. Here these offerings were primarily directed towards the Lamas of the transmission lineage. <laughs> A large part of the offerings are shared and enjoyed by the gathering of Dharma friends. Gyawa Karmapa and Kunzik Sharmapa thanked the main sponsors of this event for their generosity. Wishing prayers for the welfare and enlightenment of all sentient beings are recited joyfully at the end of the Kaju Manlam. Finally, the Gyawa Karmapa and the Kunzik Sharmapa paid their respects to the Buddha statue inside the Mahabodhi temple. They left accompanied by thousands of followers, all grateful for the opportunity to share in such wonderful activity. Maraje 
Oh, <laughs> 